you about advertising. Advertising is used to attract potential customers, create a demand for the product, and communicate essential information. So we're talking about the promotion mix, element four of advertising. Advertising is used to attract new customers by raising awareness, increasing brand loyalty by reinforcement, and encouraging existing customers to purchase more. When customers purchase products, they buy both the tangible and intangible benefits, the total product concept. But how far is too far? They've done studies, you know, 60% of the time it works every time. That doesn't make Today sense. Today we'll highlight some of the pitfalls of advertising. 101. Yeah, feel the fat. 402. Feel the fat. 403. Oh yeah, brother. Feel that burn, brother? And do you want to feel that burn too? Well, you need these supplements. What's in this supplements, you ask? What's in this? Chemicals, nutrients, whatever. Who cares? It gets you massive. Do you want to see what I used to look like? I was massive, but I've cut right down. Do you know why? Kickboxing. Muay Thai kickboxing. I'm a Muay Thai kickboxer. Put those hands up, Luke. Yeah. Yeah. See that? See that skill? Yeah. Skill. Massive. Pumped. You tell him, Luke. Pumped. Massive. Ooh. Yeah. Ooh. Leading aspects. Firstly, the advertiser did not back up his claims with university-proven research. Secondly, um, he used a lot of loud language and hype to sort of mislead the, the consumer. And thirdly, he used an athlete who's probably um, using illegal substances to endorse the product. God, it feels good to be young. Have a guess how old I am. I bet you'll never tell. I'm actually 50 years old. Thanks to Skin Drink, after 10 days, I look like this. And I'm her father, 75 years old. Thanks, Skin Drink. In the previous advertisement, there were two misleading aspects, um, the actual ages. Um, the second misleading aspect was the amount of time that the product claimed it would work within, which was completely inaccurate. Could you believe that two days ago, I was bald? Now look, young, youthful hair. But is this enough? Is this enough for you? Well, it's not enough for me. I want long hair. I want blonde hair. Oh, maybe, yeah. See? Gorgeous. Great hair. <laughs> Thanks, Great Hex. The advertisement you just saw was obviously misleading. Firstly, the individual that was depicted in the commercial obviously had fake hair. Secondly, there was no real uh, research or evidence to back up the claims. And thirdly, a young woman was used to compliment a man to make it appealing um, for consumers to buy. <laughs> I hope you now understand some of the issues surrounding advertising and how advertisements may be misleading. So make sure you're a wise consumer. Hey, 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 hey. Teach me how to do it, hey. They be like smooth. What? Can you teach me how to do it? You know why? Cause all the bitches love it. Hey. All I need is a beat that's super bumpin' And for you, you, you to back it up and dump it yeah. Put your arms out front, lean side to side They gon' be on you when they see you hit that